in this lecture we will discuss about the searching of a node in the binary search tree binary search tree is actually created for providing the effective search mechanism uh, so let's say we have to search a key value 200 in this binary search tree so the key value which is to be searched is 200 so for searching the key value 200 in this binary search tree we will be starting our search from the root node which is 500 since 200 is less than this node so i will move towards the left since 200 is more than this node, so I will move towards the right. Since 200 is less than this 300 node, so I will move towards the left. So now I am at a node which is having a key value 200. So this way, the search process can be ended up here. Uh, after uh, finding this search, we can return the address of this node. Now suppose we are searching the key value 250. The 250 key is not present in this uh, tree, search tree, so we will start our search process from the root node. Since 250 is less than 500, so we will move towards the left. 250 is more than this node, so I will move towards the right. 250 is less than this, so I will move towards the left. 250 is more than this node, so I will move towards the right. Now, 250 is more than this node, so I will move again move towards the right of this node. But uh, as soon as I move towards the right of this node, I will I will be reaching at the null value. It means if I am at this node, if I uh, do a process of going towards the right, right will actually give us a null value. So the moment I find out a null, then I will declare that my search is now completed and the search has ended up in an unsuccessful search of key value 250. So let us uh, now code this. Let's say the algorithm for this is binary search, BST search. In this, the address of the root node is given and we are interested in searching a key value. Every element here in this binary search tree has been considered as the uh, integer value. So the key value will also be of integer type. Let's say from our side I take a P which is taking the address of the root node. And we will iterate to, with the help of this P. We will search, we will traverse with the help of this P. So I will traverse this tree. By the time P is not null, the moment P becomes null, I will declare that my tree uh, was uh, the, the element that we were searching out in the tree was not found. So by the time P is not null, I will search the key value. And if this key value is equal to the data value of P, means my search is successful and I will return the address of P. I will say that the, the key value which I was searching has been found at an address P. But if this key value is not equal to the uh, data of this P, then there are two possibilities. Either we will have to move towards the left of P or we will have to move towards the right of P. So if this key value is less than the data of P, then I will move towards the left of P by making an assignment P equals to P dot left. And if this key value is more than the data of P, I will move towards the right of P. Now, if the key value is present in the uh, in this binary search tree, this return statement will sometime occur. But if the key value is not present in this binary search tree, then this P will become null and we will come out of this loop. So if I come out of this loop, certainly that the we, the search process has ended up in the unsuccessful search. So we are returning null. Returning an address of the valid node means that the search was successful and returning the null value means search was unsuccessful. Now let us call this uh, uh, function search from the main. In this binary search tree code, we have first inserted some nodes in this binary search tree and after the insertion, I'm searching this. Let's say I'm interested in searching the key value 500 in this node. So uh, if 500 is present in this binary search tree, so I should be able to find out the address of this 500 node. Let us suppose P is containing the address of uh, some node. After the search process, the BST search will return the address of the node which is containing 500. Now I can say that if P is null, if P is null, that means search if search was unsuccessful. So I will print the information unsuccessful search.
but if p is not null then i will say the search was successful fine so either the search is successful or the search is unsuccessful search will be successful only if i am getting a valid pointer as a return of this binary search tree search otherwise it will be an unsuccessful search now suppose uh, after creating the binary search tree we are first performing the in order traversal just to find out if uh, my binary search tree created is correct or not and then we are searching a key value which is Five hundred, and either this will return a valid pointer or a null. Let's check this. So five, we were searching five hundred, so this was a successful search. Suppose we are interested in finding out a five ninety. So the search for the five ninety should also result in a successful search. But in this binary search tree, if I am get, if I am interested in searching, let's say ten. 10 is not there in the binary search tree so this should result in unsuccessful search so you can see that this is returning the this is printing the information unsuccessful search if you want to be sure that uh, whether we uh, were at the right node or not when the bst search returned the value let's say we are searching 120 so uh, you can see you can just be sure by if i am at a right node or not so you just print the information of the p node If the information of this p node is uh, 120 itself then obviously the search process ended up at a right node so you can see that we were searching 120 and the uh, binary search tree resulted binary search tree search has returned at the address of a node containing 120 and we have printed the printed the information of that node which is also 120 thank you